Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss general characters of hepatic opsida. So, plant body of hepatic opsida is dorsi ventral, means it has two sides like this palm. This upper side is called dorsal side and this lower side is called ventral side. So, here you can see that in that palm, upper side is different from lower side. So, plant body is, you can say that has two sides. One upper side is called dorsal and lower side is called ventral. So, plant body is torsi ventral and it is gametophytic means haploid. Maybe thalloid, maybe thallus like which is not differentiated into leaves, shoot, root or maybe folios or maybe leaf like or the body is differentiated into axis and leaves. So, if body is thalloid like, thallus like in which the body is not differentiated into root and shoot and leaves. The body is prostrate. Prostrate means it is lying on the surface. Suppose this is soil surface and it is lying on the soil surface like this. Prostately lying. So, if it is thalloid, then it is prostrate and lobed. You can see that here. This body is lobed. It has lobes. So, it is lobed and dichotomously branched. So, here you can see that this branching is dichotomous means from 1 to 2. Here also the branching is dichotomous. So, when plant body is thalloid, it is prostate, lobed and dichotomously branched. Ventral surface of this dorsiventral body has unicellular unbranched rhizoids and scales. So, here in that, this is ventral side. You can see that these structures, these are unicellular unbranched rhizoids. which absorbs water and minerals and provide encouragement to the thallus. So, these are unicellular rhizoids and they, they on the ventral side, there are unicellular scales. These are scales. These are scales. So, ventral side has scales and rhizoid which are unicellular and unbranched. If body is folios like, then it has central axis and which bears the central axis bears two to three rows of leaves and leaves are without midrib. Here you can see that this is folios thallus. So this is this one, this middle one is central axis and this central axis bears here you can see that two rows, one, two, one, two, to bear two rows of leaves, rows may be two to three and each leaf is like this. This leaf do not have any midrip. So, leaf is without midrip. Photosynthetic cells of gametophyte or thallus, gametophyte or thallus is the same thing because main plant body is gametophyte. So, photosynthetic cell of thallus has chloroplast which is without pyrenoids. So, pyrenoids that are found in algae are absent in case of hepaticopsida. Vegetative reproductions occur through death and decay of older parts. So, suppose this is a thallus. This is a thallus body. If this part is decayed and when this decaying process reaches to the dichotomy, reaches there, then you here you can see that these two fragments will separate and each will form new thallus. So, Vegetative reproduction occur through, through death and decay of older part. Some adventitious bird. So, there on the ventral side, or oh, oh, sorry, dorsal side of the thallus, some birds arises and these, these birds on detaching from that body will form new thallus. So, these are called adventitious bird. So, it may be through death and decay of older parts, adventitious bird or gamete, cup-like structures like this that are present on dorsal side of the thallus which bears gamay inside this and these gamay will form whole thallus. So, cup like structure that are present on dorsal surface of thallus contains gamay and these cup like structures are called gamma cup and these gamay can form new thallus. So, vegetative reproduction occur through death and decay older parts, adventitious bud or gamay. Sexual reproduction is oogamous type. 
in which male gamete is smaller in size it is motile and female gamete is larger or egg is larger and non motile so this in sexual reproduction anthridia that is called male reproductive structure and archegonia are well developed anthridia will form male gametophyte that is motile and archegonia will form egg so here male gamete from anthridia will reach to the archegonia through water so water is essential for fertilization when fertilization occur there will be formation of zygote this zygote divides by mitosis and it will form embryo embryo will be retained by this gametophytic plant body this embryo on further development will form sporophyte so sporophyte may be represented by only capsule in some species but in some species it may have foot seta and capsule so only capsule will be there or foot seta and capsule may be there so this capsule suppose this is capsule this capsule contains spore mother cells these spore mother cell will divide by meiosis and will form spores these spore mother cells will divide by meiosis and will form spores these spores then will germinate and form gametophyte so these are general characters of hepaticopsida